With an aggressive attempt to crack down on illegal dental operations here in the country, the Bahamas Dental Council has been successful in uncovering at least two alleged fake dentists within the past two weeks, with as many as 20 more possible illegal operations being investigated. But according to one local practitioner, the council may have only taken a small bite out of the problem, even among those with a license to practice dentistry. Our Lloyd Allen explains. Registrar of the Bahamas Dental Council, Dr. Sparkman Ferguson, has succeeded in sounding the alarm about dental operations in the capital. Just this month, a foreigner pleaded guilty to practicing as a dentist. According to orthodontist Dr. Barry Russell, the issue of fake dentists is just the tip of the iceberg. He claims there remains a major concern of persons who have not specialized in the field of orthodontics, with the botched results appearing at his clinic on a daily basis. Dr. Russell revealed to our news team some patients are fooled into paying for services based on creative advertisement, with many of the procedures left in a state of disrepair. Um, we have people flying in um, from outside of the country, working out of people's homes, working out of um, salons, <clears throat> um, spas, um, and they would attract patients by using a very elaborate online social media campaign. He says to beware of advertisement phrases like Italian braces or fashion braces. Dr. Russell is recorded as the first Bahamian orthodontist and says these ads promote procedures at a reduced cost compared to standard prices and warns that it's important not to assume that a person with a license is completely qualified. Orthodontics is a specialty of dentistry and, uh, and to do it well um, you, you must be trained. And in dental school, you just don't get the training to treat orthodontic patients. And so, if it's your desire to treat orthodontic patients, you need to go and become an orthodontist. Dr. Nigel Lewis of the Universal Dental Center agrees that more scrutiny is needed for all parties, whether licensed or otherwise. We had here, about three weeks ago, that one of the persons who the police actually called them while they were here in the office getting fixed, I mean, corrected damn procedure from what one of these jokers had done. Damn. And she, she, she was actually a patient here in our office and left the office to go to the police station where they had called her so that she could then um, lay her complaint. To protect yourself, here are some general tips to follow when seeking dental services. Ensure that your practitioner is part of both local and internationally approved agencies. Also, check the Dental Council Gazette to confirm your practitioner is listed. And finally, you must also review the web for new information as it becomes available. Remember, it's all about your oral health, so guard it with your life. Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.